come with us to Yulaba as we stay at Judd's Lagoon, where we check out the local amusement ride. Do you think they look safe? Check out the tracks, discover that they lost more than their traction, and where to find out that the thump against the caravan wasn't Gil hitting it with the car. Also, check out our tips and hacks that we learnt along the way. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light. I make the same mistake more than twice. Same song, a brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. So, just for the record, I did not crash into the caravan. Um, yeah, would have been bad. Something's wrong here. We must have a leak. Is a problem. Conclusion, airbags are leak. Got in touch with Tough Ride. Took us three months to be able to book into somewhere that was going to be able to fix the caravan. We had a couple of other issues as well. So got there and this place actually I think made the airbags worse. The gauge was reading completely wrong. We got in touch with Tough Ride again who got straight onto Airbag Man. They looked after us, they got us into Auto Giant in Brendale. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we had the van there. Just don't tell anyone, we were just camped in their car park overnight. In summary, we believe the airbags were exactly, which caused the tank to fill with water, which then caused corrosion of all the fittings, causing the leaks. They've all been replaced. I believe the bill was over $4,000 under warranty, so no cost to us, so we're happy with that. Hopefully everything's all set now, ready to go feel the airbags are a lot better now but we're still going to go back to Melbourne and just um, get them to double check. Uh, we're going to have a uh, little look around Judd's Lagoon. We've just come here from uh, Roma which is uh, less than an hour's drive down the road. Um, so we're just going to check out this campsite. It's a free camp. So that's us over there. See, it is very dusty down here. Look at me. Look at that. I mean, get a, oh, get a um, bit of wind and we're going to get dust everywhere. Anyway, we've got fire pits with logs there to sit on. As you can see, there's not many people here at the moment. There's a few last night. We left fairly early this morning. And here is the sign for Hilba. So it's got a bit of information, things to see, things to do, what it would be like when it is full, very full and green. Picnic tables, more barbecues. Show you this lagoon. It is a little bit low at the moment. It's been fairly warm and no rain. So. And it looks like a rope up in the tree there. Do you think this looks safe? Yeah, looks a bit frayed to me. As you can see up there, almost like a uh, flying fox. And there's a, rope, a wire that goes across the lagoon and onto a tree on the other side there. And um, So well, there you go, there's the uh, L Judd's Lagoon. Looks pretty nice. I don't know if I'd be swimming in there at the moment though, to be honest. Okay, let's go exploring a bit more. If you don't want to be out in full sun, it looks like there's some um, shady campsites up here. It's looking a bit greener up there, so we'll just go and see if there's uh, some more water up that way. Oh, there's, oh the heck, there's heaps of, um, heaps more water here. You can see in here it's, uh, dried out and it's been fairly muddy at some stage and uh yeah someone's someone's driven through there and someone's really got stuck in here so i'm guessing that they would have winched on a tree or got someone to um pull them out definitely well and truly bogged in there it's hard enough you can see on the camera how deep that is but It'd be up to my knee. Check out how deep that is. And oh, here's the front wheels. Look, there's a decent hole there, about two foot deep. <laughs> oh my. 
something here. A bit of rubbish. I'll take that back. There's some more rubbish over there. See what that is? Oh, hold on. That's not rubbish. That's a mobile phone. Oh. LG. That's good. It looks like this has had better days though. It's, um, yeah, someone's uh, lost their mobile phone here. So I'll take that back to um, camp and just see if we can find a charger to charge it up. It's an LG, we don't have LG phones, but we might be able to find something that can charge it. It would be cool if we could find the owner of that, wouldn't it? Empty, empty beer bottle. Take that back and throw it in the uh, recycle bin on the way past. Firewood. Nine dollar a bag. If you return the empty bag, if you don't, then it's ten dollars a bag. <laughs> There's a little, little trolley. So here's a bottles, cans. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just like a um, kind of like a drop toilet. It's got a bit of a flush on it, but. Um, there's not much water in that tank. Just a trickle to wash your hands. Got the um, solar blanket out today. Catching about 12 amps off that. And up to 20 something, 24 off the roof. So we decided to park over here. We're facing this area, away from the dust if the wind's blowing that way. At least the dust isn't coming into the front of the caravan been a fire here before so I've got a little ready to light tonight. Been just out earlier collecting some firewood. If you haven't seen haven't seen this before this is pretty cool. You can go and um, carry a decent amount of firewood in there. So I did two trips and there's a bit of red gum all the way from Victoria. So if you like this video just give us a like on the thumbs up and please subscribe. That'd be really appreciated. Makes it all seem worthwhile. Just some clips from our Christmas in our shop at Langford's Patisserie. And next week we will be in Christmas mode as we head back to Melbourne and cook up a storm to have a feast with our family. Join us then. Face the facts, the best me is with you, but I know.